What's up guys, Crucius just from Into StarCraft here. This is going to be a relatively quick update video for the Into StarCraft Team League qualifiers. Basically it's just going to contain a couple changes that have been made to the tournament as well as different instructions and basically some expansions on the rules that we have. So let's just start off with the changes that have been made thus far. If you haven't um, checked your email address or check your email inbox, please do so. There is a quick email telling you what to do there. Um, the round of 32 has been changed to a best of three. This is just to make it a bit fairer for some of the people who may have gotten paired up against um, basically similar level players and that's specifically for the Grandmasters and Master League players um, because there were actually a couple that did get paired up in the very first round and that is kind of unfair to them. So that explains that change. If you're in a group that doesn't have round 32, this change does not affect you at all, so you can basically ignore it. Um, we have changed the email address that the contact form uses. So from this point on, interstarcraft at gmail.com is of no use whatsoever. If you want to contact us, you can contact us on contact at interstarcraft.com. That is for general inquiries only. If you want to ask something tournament um, specific, email us on sea at intostarcraft.com. And as always, that is going to be on the screen in front of you, so just note them down somewhere just so you have it handy. And as far as the tournament page goes, the brackets have been listed. You can find the link to the brackets at the bottom in the registration status page. Just mouse over your group name and that should give you the hyperlink off to the bracket. You'll also notice that the opponent finder and opponent emailing tool is up. Um, if you have any problems using either of those tools, um, just send us an email and we'll work that out for you. Because in some cases, people did actually enter in their information wrong, and thus it won't work on your end. But that's everything as far as changes go, so we're just going to quickly go over a couple of instructions. Basically what you need to do is you need to go to your opponent finder, or go to the opponent finder tool, enter in your information, grab your opponent's username and character code, head over to StarCraft, add them in game, and check to see if the information actually exists. Because for some people, again, people entered it wrong so their code doesn't actually match what the real code is. Probably they just didn't understand what the identify code was for. But if it doesn't exist, just let me know. I'll send them an email to try to verify what it is. If not, that is completely utterly fine. What you need to do then is then go to the emailing tool. Send them an email, try to set up a time where both of you can meet up and play your games. And then you set your own games up. After everything is done, basically what you need to do is find the replays for the matches that you played. Rename them so say it's Crucius versus Bob game 1 and Crucius versus Bob game 2 so on so on so on after that you need to send all your replays to replays at interstarcraft.com again the email is going to be on the screen in front of you so just um, draw it down somewhere so you can basically have quick access to it when you need it now there are a couple rules in regards to the replay submission which is outlined in the standard Inter Starcraft rules it's a good idea if you do read through all those rules because there might be something that you don't know of, especially when it comes to disconnect rules and um, what you need to do if such um, a situation does occur. Now as far as what will happen if there are unplayed matches, like I said in the last update video, if there was one clear player who did try to make an effort to set up the game and the other person didn't, that person by default will pass on to the next round. If it comes down to the um, situation where both players try to set up their matches but your times didn't match up, I will probably be willing to give you an extension as long as you don't put it off for more than one or two days because that is going to hold up the rest of the brackets and basically everything starts to get out of sync and that kind of messes things up for me especially. So hopefully it doesn't get to that situation but if it does um, we'll handle it when we get there. Now, the deadline for the round of 32, it is on the 18th of May at 9pm GMT plus 10 time. Now, because the brackets were released a bit late and we did have technical issues, I will be willing to give an extension for, say, one day, 
but if you can, please try to get your matches done before 9pm on the 18th of May. That will make things a lot easier for me, and basically that will let us transition into the next round and later rounds a lot smoother than what it would if we <laughs> did kind of give an extension to people. And that's basically everything as far as rules go. Um, I do want to talk about one topic that did come up, but I'll leave that to the end of the video. The only other thing that I really wanted to talk about besides that was um, the sponsors. Um, I currently emailed a couple more people in the likelihood that we do get a sponsor. Um, I did get an email from one person who might be interested, but we'll see how we'll have to see where that goes. Um, so I will keep you guys up to date on the status of the sponsors, but fingers crossed for actually getting something. Right, now I just want to try to summarize um, a topic that did come up. It was mainly located on the Team Liquid thread, so there is a post in front of you if you do want, or there is a link in front of you if you do want to go read that. Um, but for those who don't, the summary is basically there have been a few certain people who have said that the current bracket setup is relatively unfair. But most of those people are the Master League and Grand Master League players, but we did also get a couple people say in the Platinum League and lower. Basically, the issue was that. Well, as far as the Grandmaster and Master League players go, the issue is that the way the brackets were randomized, um, the likelihood of Grandmaster League players and Master League players playing against each other in the first or early rounds is actually relatively high, which will overall reduce the possible, I guess, strength of the final representing team. Whereas the lower league players were saying that it's kind of unfair because they got paired up against Master League players and Grand Master League players from the very start. For those who are curious, basically the way the brackets were set up is that we just I just grabbed all the names in the pool, randomized it, and list them as they came out. There was no seeding involved. There was no... I guess seeding's the only other solution to it. Um, yeah, there was no seeding involved because basically I wanted to try to be fair to the group as a whole rather than specifically tailoring it for the higher league players or lower league players. Um, I know this does cause a couple of issues for people, so because of that, and because it's kind of late to change how the brackets were actually set up, I will probably be looking into making the tournament a double elimination. That doesn't completely resolve the issue, but it does help smooth things out a bit, especially for the people who did get paired up against each other from the higher leagues. We'll have to see how that goes it's not going to resolve it completely, like I said, but at least um, those people will still have another chance to make it back into the representing four. And everything that was said will be considered for future tournaments, so hopefully this issue does get resolved in the future and we can figure out a way that will be fair for everyone who has registered, regardless of what league you are. Of course, it will be unfair for some at some point because you can't set it up so all 200 or so players will get the best outcome it's just not going to happen, especially with that large of a registration pool. So again, if you guys do have any feedback on the tournament or any of the features that we do have, just let us know and uh, basically we can use that to help improve the tournament in the future. Because at the end of the day, this is being run for you guys, so we do want to make it as enjoyable as possible. And by giving feedback, we can actually make that happen. And that's probably everything I really wanted to go over, so... Good luck for your matches. Um, if you do run into any issues, don't hesitate to contact us because we can get that resolved for you. So this has been Crucius for Into StarCraft, talking about the Into StarCraft Team League qualifiers. Be sure to check out the tournament page for any updates because any major things will be posted there straight away. And keep an eye out for some of the VODs because they, one or two will probably be released over the next couple of days, just basically as a teaser into the actual tournament itself. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time.